Okay, it's 7 p.m. Yes. We are driving to one of the best, was it? Best <laughs> street food in the area. Momo time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the colorful park that I was telling you about. We are just approaching, um, just literally approaching the tree line. So we want to show you what it looks like by night. So it's coming slowly. There is more graffiti. There's a the, There's a map of India. Yeah, map of India on the right as well. It's nicely lit. I mean from this perspective you can't see much. But yeah, here is the park by the way. So it looks pretty amazing. I just roll down the window. So it's really beautiful. It's just truly a, like um, like in a fairy tale at some point. See? That's what it looks like. Yeah, the trees are amazing. They're truly amazing. So it looks like uh, a fanfare at some point. The amount of lights here. This used to be a really green park with a lot of different flowers. Mm -hmm. When we were children, we used to come and play. Mm -hmm. But after the tsunami, the entire the tsunami enti came until there, that mm -hmm. ground. So then, because of that, um, nothing ever regrew on these lands because the land became kind of barren. Mm -hmm. So they kind of decided to decorate it with lights to make it look good in a way. But it's all reconstructed after the 2006 tsunami, which destructed the islands in a very big way. Right. Yeah. So not many trees or like plants would grow. The trees still were replanted, but like flower garden, we used to have a flower garden, I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is, yeah, as you can see, it's barren now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is pretty cool actually. Once we, uh, one day we're just gonna go for a walk probably to that place, so then we can record it uh, more precisely. Uh, with some close-ups and all that, so um, there's a police catching somebody. Okay, so actually, <laughs> in the meantime, we've just reached the place. This is on the on the right. This is where we're going to eat. Let's not enter from this side. Right. Hello. <laughs> what? Do you know it's your turn now? Now you have to speak one word in English. By the way, the way we parked is like that. Yes. So. I was saying. That's what it looks like. The umbrellas. That's exactly where we want to be. I think it's just a decoration. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many people here. Yeah, exactly, it's quite busy. Okay, I think we reconnect once uh, once we go inside. So uh, we show you some some yummy food. See you then. Okay, it's rolling. So this is a seaside spot. Tell us about the food. So, so that's the menu. Hello. That's your dentist. Oh yeah, yeah. hello, how are you? 
Okay. So, how much you? How much you vlogging? Stop, I. <laughs> so, Daniel, what do you want to eat? Anything, Momo. So here they have um, Bisht Momo house, and then there's this Tibetan fast food. Uh, this one is a good one. I would go for this one. Um, Dheeraj wants to have the burger from there, so let's get the burger first. Get the burger. Yeah, uh, burgers or burger. Can you choose which one you want? to eat that so let's see buying burgers in India <laughs> but people like it what's that there uh, looks like chicken to me let's go get some momos How many portions? One or two? Two. Can you Huh? Look at the price. Chicken. Just literally. Less than two pounds. Yes, this less than two pounds. That's true. Which one are you going for? Chicken fried momo. Let's take one fried one steam. Yeah, it says. Okay, so can we have one steam, one fried chicken? chicken. Which fry are we gonna get? Huh? <laughs> there are different types of fries, so I don't know which one we're gonna get. We're getting chicken fried momo. Okay, but this is also same. Mutton fried, sun fried. I do have some change. Um, no, we'll sit and eat. There's our friend Tiraj, who's coming with his burger. <laughs> oh, you have a this very is, nice background. This is chicken burger in India. Daniel, you have a very nice background. No, not this. <laughs> this is the beauty of contrast in India. <laughs> you've got um, an amazing food on one side, and you've got a pile of rubbish on the other. So the umbrellas. <laughs> So up there, I mean down there, are more counters with more momos. Momos are quite popular here. Um, it's a dish that is um, kind of from traditional northeast and Nepal. And these people are northeast. And you can see that's why it's Tibetan fast food. Ta-da! Momo arrived. Thank you. That's what, <laughs> that's what it looks like. So these are the these fried, are the fried ones. Mm. The color is uh, quite weird. So basically, this is red in color. What is it? Maybe it's reflecting. This is red in color. 
This is white in color. Everything is green here, to be honest. This is a green light. <laughs> okay, ready to eat? Tissues are coming. Let's eat. How's it, Daniel? Mm. Hot. <laughs> Try this one. How's your burger, Dheeraj? Nice. Burger is hacha. Now I'm gonna try this can one. Can you say it this way? No. You can say <laughs> Okay, so we finished our food. The place is just right behind us. However, in front of me, it's a swimming pool. This is the only swimming pool in Port Blair. Looks like that. As you can see, this is an open swimming pool. When Jonita was little, yeah. she used to go swimming there. She had swimming classes there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the funny thing about this swimming pool is that um, there are different times for men and for women. Boys and girls. For boys and girls. Yeah. So basically, what are the timings? I don't you remember? Know the timings, but, uh, I don't know. Three hours for boys. You know what I didn't Three know? hours for, for well, girls, something like that. Most, why, why I stopped going? So. When there used to be girls' lessons, swimming lessons, of course there'll be all the girls. So there used to be like boys, like guys of our age or older, they would hang out there. So that 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 rail. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they would all hang out there and they would just spend hours there watching the girls learn to swim. Ah, so see? Hated going there. That's true. Yeah. That's a funny one actually. It looks good. Uh, the size is like is the an Olympic size. Olympic size. It, I don't know if from this angle is visible, but it's actually a massive one. Yeah. And you know, um, our swimming instructor used to make us uh, run, like work out for half an hour before the classes. So by the time I got into the water, I was so knackered. I couldn't do any <laughs> leg action. You make us run and oh yes, our class timings were 3.30 to 4.30. It was like that hot, you know? Oh yeah, it's afternoon, you mean. So yeah, yeah. Uh, we finished school and 3.30 we come here and then we used to run around the pool like, for 10-15 minutes. Oh, lights are gone. Alright, party is over. <laughs> okay, so that's the swimming pool of Port Blair. Now we're on the way back. I actually, I just had to record it because this is the real deal. Back in the city, the noise, the lights, the crowd, the mini chaos, the shops. It's very colorful. So we are approaching another junction. Let's expect some chaos. Nope, it's been smooth. <laughs> 